guys welcome to our 11th episode i'm your host george harris king welcome to the 11th episode of the ldw ldw series um here on fire promoter mode with fire pro wrestling world okay so last time on our show we started off michael elgin he's had problems with management over his pay he says with his popularity and with his i guess kind of his pull here in ldw he deserves more pay and another world title opportunity you've seen it michael elgin has not won that many matches he's only had two wins here in ldw out of all of these episodes and all these moments here and he's been given world championship match after world championship after world championship match he doesn't fully deserve anything here um and you saw on a recent episode at the close of our last episode, uh, Ricochet asked for a pay raise. He definitely deserved it. This guy, he's on a win streak. He's won the championship, defended it, um, has been a top prospect, putting on countless great matches here in LDW. He's a star in LDW. Um, so there's that. Um, and as I just said, he, he defended his belt last time against Sick Nick Mondo. Even though the match was not that long, still was an instant classic. And I love that the fans praised it. It was an emotional match between two best friends that tag team together. And now Ricochet puts on the title belt to get puts the belt on the line just for his ch- just to give Nick Mondo the chance of a lifetime here in LDW. Just to finally give him an opportunity at some gold here. And really that's it from there. Um Tessa Blanchard and Pentagon Jr. Um, they put on. It, it was a devastating end to their match. Um, Pe- Tessa Blanchard was pinned by Will Osprey. Um, he did not even. You can see in his face, he didn't want to end it like that. Um, he pinned Tessa Blanchard, ended the match. She lost her chance to be in a world championship match. Um. We're still determining what to do with her from here. Here at LDW, we're trying to determine what to do with her. Um, she deserves it. You know, everybody in LDW has had a chance at gold at this point, except for Tessa Blanchard. Even Nick Mondo's now had a chance. Um, even after everything, I think that. There needs to be some type of one chance stipulation for her. Or maybe someone defends her, you know. And that's where we have to come we're coming down to today here on our show. Um one thing I wanna try to do, I really wanna sign somebody. We're gonna invite Velosprey back. He's clearly interested in LEW. He's gonna keep coming back for these invites he will be at our next our season finale he will i will make sure he's invited our season finale let me let me explain that real quick so our season finale that will be our our that'll be our special our first special we are going to go all in with a lot of advertising stock we're going to try to make as much money as possible from that show so there's that um we're going to have every title on the line that we can put on the line Ex- well we need to see where we stand here um, with everything um, one problem we have a con- there's a conflict with Michael Elgin he has a big mouth right now saying he deserves more money and deserves this and deserves that and management's just so confused so that's we're, we're continuing that today um, and that's really it you know so my thing with everything like that um, I think today we should crown our tag team champions Tesla and Pentagon Jr. versus Jeff Bryan and Adam Page I think that there because Michael is not a junior I think we should do this for um uh, uh, what was the name Oh, uh, we should do this for Tessa. If Ricochet 
defeats Michael Elgin, he can defend the pride of of Tessa Blanchard, his ex-girlfriend. The one he's had countless great matches. He's had a great match with to start our show off. He can defend the pride of her to get a championship match. And we'll see where we go from there. Um, if he de- if Ricochet defeats Michael Elgin, Tessa Blanchard gets her world championship match. If he doesn't defeat Michael Elgin, we'll see where we go from there. Um, and that's that, really. In our main event, we will crown our first tag team champions, uh, whether Pentagon and Tessa win, or um, Page and um, and Page and um, what's his name, and Page and Jeff Bryan win. So there's that. Um, anything else going on? Uh, Sick Nick Mondo doesn't have a match, so that's that's something. I did want to try to sign somebody today, you know. Um, or maybe let's not force the tag team championship, okay? I we have two belts. We're confident with those two belts, so that's something, and we're gonna keep it special like that, okay? So we're gonna just work with what we have. So I think today, instead of the tag team championship match, what we need to do, um, Tessa and Pentagon. They can get. Let's check on our people first. Let, let's look at everybody. See how everybody's doing. I don't care for Michael Elgin. So I don't care how he's doing. Um, Ricochet is in great condition. That's good. Same with the other champion, um, Paige. Nick Mondo's in okay conditioning. Pentagon needs a night off. Tessa needs a night off. Jeff Bryan once again needs a night off. Are you kidding me? No, no, that's not gonna happen. No, he has no injuries. Like, what? What do you mean he's in poor conditioning? He doesn't. He... Whatever. Um. Yeah, simply no, no. We're not going that way. If we do this type of thing, it's whatever. Fine. Okay, my attitude is fine. Okay, fine. Um, Will Osprey, he does not need to be invited to this episode. This is going to be a very lower um, episode of ours here today. We're not going to have as much going on on purpose because we need to build up to this next show. We need everybody be, to be in a good or just okay conditioning by the time we have our special called Lion's Roar. Lions Roar is going to be a great show. I'm telling you now, it's going to be great. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna book it like crazy. We're gonna go all out with this show. We're gonna go all in, and that's that. So, um, Ricochet he will face Michael Elgin in our main event since he has since Michael Elgin has a big mouth and he thinks that he deserves uh, two guys. One second. Two guys that demanded pay raises. One guy gets the pay raise because he deserves it. He put in the work and he's got the credibility built up on him. And then there's Michael Elgin who has no credibility at all. Who doesn't deserve it. And he's just making demands because he's popular. And like, whatever with that guy, you know. So, Ricochet's going to put up or shut up. He's, he's, Michael Elgin puts up or shut ups, shuts up. Or... And um, Ricochet will be the one to silence it. it. He can't put his belt on the line. It's a grudge match. And if my Ricochet wins, Tessa Blanchard gets her world championship match. If Ricochet doesn't win, there's ugly. It's, it's going to be ugly. Okay. It's going to end up ugly. Some so We're going to have to figure out who gets a world championship match from there. But we'll see where things go. Okay. Anything can happen. Okay. Anything can happen. So, there's that. Um, so, you see, three people will need the night off, which is not something I'm I'm not really happy with at all. Um, just to have more than one match going on, we can have Adam Page versus Nick Mondo in a non-championship match. Um, just to have that happen, you know. So, there's that.
Moving on, guys. But, um, I said I was going to offer a contract to somebody, try to sign somebody today. Um, we don't really need to. You know, we don't fully need to. We don't fully need to sign anyone. As like on our first on our first special, if they debut or whatever, that'd be cool. They can go against somebody, you know. Um, we can try. We can see if we can sign somebody. Let's offer a contract. Let's go to the Indies. We're not gonna go to another promotion. Just the independent circuit, free agents and stuff. We can go to Japan and offer a contract to somebody out here. He looks interesting. He fits our promotion, so. Just the only thing is, like, strong style, I guess. Um. What is he? He's a heavyweight? Nia Jr.? Man. I don't know. I need we need more juniors, you know. Everybody can go for that heavyweight belt, okay. How's he listed as a heavyweight? He's 196 pounds. I'm looking at the H next to it, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, like you only see J and H, so whatever. Hmm, um, I was given a suggestion that I should try to sign a female competitor to the show, another female competitor, you know, but I feel like that would ruin the purpose of, that, not the purpose of, of, um, what's her name, uh, Tessa Blanchard, but it's something, you know, so, there's that, um, it's not a junior. What's the J? What does that J stand for? It can't be for junior heavyweight. I love to sign this guy. I've seen how he wrestles. He's their champion. How much is this guy gonna cost? He's gonna cost a lot. I'm not even really fully reading now. Let me see something. Hmm. You know what? We could try to sign this guy. They got four people. Good try. You know, it's worth it. Yeah. Um. Only offer eight thousand. We're just gonna see if we can get him. Doesn't matter if we do or don't. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it is their loss. To be honest, he was gonna make a lot of great money just because, it, you know, it's whatever with him. Um, Will Osprey does not need to be on this show. This show is gonna be probably our a second boring, not boring, but it, it's the stakes are high for one match, for the defense of uh, Tessa Blanchard. Um, uh, Adam Page versus Nick Mondo is not going to be that big of a deal, really, at all. So, there's that. Okay, so for the event, let's see. Let's go ahead and book it. We don't need a lo We don't need a loan. We don't need anything. I'm not doing cross promotion. No. Let's book an event. It's gonna be a simple show. It's not gonna be the greatest in the world, but it's something, you know. I'm not trying to put too much into this at all, because we're gonna have like a big. One thing I want to look at real quick. Oh, we went urban. Ooh, that's a lot of freaking money to be spending. I think we should just stick to this and then TV commercial. Oh, Jesus, that's expensive. If we try to spend it on that. Print ad. I guess like that'd be our move for that. This is just me, guys. Ticket price can go up a little bit. We went to it, ticket prices go up. 
maybe bring it up to like 30 bucks instead of 10. If that puts bus in seats, that's my problem. So, there's that. So to start us off, it's going to be a small match, not a big show on this one. It's going to be Nick Mondo facing off against Adam Page. Nick Mondo's in normal conditioning, it's whatever there. Adam Page. Main event. Michael Elgin. This is defense of... You know what? This is where it gets sad. If Ricochet doesn't win, then Michael Elgin gets a championship match, guys. That's how it has to go down. You get me? So. It will be a sad way to end things. If Ricochet doesn't win, Michael Elgin gets a world championship match. Just hand it to him once again, you know? And... And that's just not right, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that, really. Um, style matches and everything. Paul Turner can stay. Um, we're good to go. We're good to go now. I mean, if I did change this up 60 minutes because it's the main event of the evening. Um, anything else? No. Um, so this will be a f not the first time a junior goes against a heavyweight, but this will be, yeah, whatever. So, Ricochet is his first singles match without defending his belt um, against Michael Elgin. He's defending, he's defending the pride of Tessa Blanchard for that world championship. If she loses, if he loses his match against Michael Elgin, it'll be an upset for Tessa and Ricochet because he just lost to Michael Elgin, you know. And if he wins... Michael, if he wins, Tessa Blanchard gets her world championship match. If he loses, if he loses his match, Michael Elgin um, has his world championship match. If Nick Mondo, I mean, it'd be cool if Nick Mondo could defeat the world champion. That's something. But if he doesn't win, I feel like everybody's defending Tessa right now because Nick Mondo is going against Adam Page, you know. Everybody's against Adam Page because Adam Page is the top guy. He's a strong heel. He's devastating in the ring. And that's that. And I love it how we're still, we, even with just two matches, we're at a full house. That's so cool. I love it. So, moving on. Here we go, guys. Affirm the match card. Our budget, where's our budget at? 27000 not too bad. We'll still put butts in seats and we'll still make good money from our stock. Um, so, yeah. Proceed to the event. I'm going to of course, turn on my commentary voice during the show. Wait, what? We can't expect a big turnout this month. Uh, with only two matches. <laughs> it's whatever. I love it we're, that we're at a full house. I love it that we're this big now with LDW. And I'm glad that we're about to have our first legitimate special to end our season here. So, there's that. Uh, Nick Mondo versus Adam Page to start us off. And... There's a non-title match, and then there's Michael Elgin against Ricochet. And if Michael Elgin wins, you know, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna keep repeating myself over and over again. Let's go, guys. I'm just doing my thing here. Whatever. There he is, guys. So much effort put into his championship match last show for the junior heavyweight title. This is Sick Nick Mondo. Welcome to Lions Den Wrestling. This is our 11th installment. Next show is our first special ever Lions, Lions Roar, guys. My goodness. And there he is for the first time a singles match without his belt on the line. This is the LDW World Heavyweight Champion Hangman Adam Page. Um, Sick Nick Mondo, this is a big opportunity. If he can defeat Adam Page, that'd be big for his status here in LDW. If he loses, it'll be fine. He'll have his future. But that's that. 
Paul Turner, welcome back. As usual, much respect. Um, here, Scoop Slam there, takes him down. Oh my god, Hurricane Rana into a pinfall there. The, the ability of Ampage in that ring is just amazing. He could do everything in that ring. He has strength, he has the high flying ability, the technical wrestling. He has everything in that ring. He's, he's great. Uh, Sick Nick Mondo, same thing. He can match up as well. But the problem is, Sick Nick, he's just. I say he his um, confidence level is not as high as Adam Page, and charisma level, same thing as well. Oh, pinball here. Oh, kick out. Just all you like that. So, I mean, you can see that Adam Page, and plus, Adam Page is more popular. So, that's why a guy like. Adam Page gets over more and Sick Nick Mondo. He's he's had his ups and downs here in LDW and Adam Page is still he's still undefeated in singles competition. Oh, standing student star press if I want. Oh, doesn't get a one count. Um So yeah. Adam Page he proves his credibility. He's never lost a match in singles competition here in LDW. He has lost like one he's lost one match when it comes to tag team competition. That's his only listed loss here in LDW at all. If Nick Mondo defeats him here, this will be Adam Page's first listed loss. And that'd be crazy. You know, so there's that. Uh continuing on with the match scoop slam from Nick Mondo there. Kick to the back there. Throws Adam in. Alright. Alright, back and forth here. Kick, punch Kick and an overhead punch. Oh, beautiful. And Adam Page takes the advantage. Nick Mondo is down. DDT. My goodness. Adam Page here. Excuse me, in the background, I'm trying to have a snack. All right. It's a little quiet here. Oh. Nick Mondo is out. Adam Page catching his breath. Adam Page will be defending his title against whoever. Oh my god! Just opens him up with the light tube. My goodness! Oh! Nick Mondo just pulled out some ultra violent tactics. He wants to defeat the champion here tonight. And I think that just pissed off the world champion. Look at the blood just falling from his face now. Jesus Christ. I know Adam Page is pissed from that. Look at him. He's all over Nick Mondo. He's, he just ate those kicks. The adrenaline is pumping. Oh, my God. Falling power bomb. One, two, three. Oh, that was, I thought that was it. Adam Page, that just ticked him off. And now Nick Mondo with the leg lock here. All right, Adam Page is out of it. Lift some up here. Got him. Nice arm drag from Nick Mondo. Throws him in. Then now overhead there. Tosses him on top. Oh, Lariat there. Oh, elbow to the back of the head. Deadlifting German suplex all over the ropes. Look at the face of Adam Page. He has to be livid right now. He has to defend his world title on our next show, and he's going to need stitches after this that light tube hit. My goodness. Oh, butterfly suplex, beautiful bridge. One, two, oh, only one count there. Suplex, oh, and Paige gets out of it. Oh, nasty. So, uh, close line. Moonsault there from Adam Page. Throws him in. Oh, but miscalculation there from Nick Mondo. He is down. That's headlock takedown by Nick Mondo. Look at the blood just pouring from Hangman Adam Page's face. Like, my goodness. He's going to really need some medical attention in the back. Oh, my God. Burning hammer. And Adam Page falls right outside the ring. And now another light tube. Oh, my God. Once again, hits him with a light tube. It's like he's trying to injure Adam Page right now. 
My goodness. Oh, drop kick there. It takes down Nick Mondo. 16, 17, almost a kick out there. Or not kick out, oh, count out, excuse me. Throws him in. Throws him in. Nick Mondo. What's he going to go for here? Oh, Tornado DDT. Beautiful. That takes down the world champion. As I advise one more time, this is not a championship match, guys. Oh, beautiful there. Oh, bomb my A. Nick Mondo wants to defeat the world champion. Oh, back kick to the champ. Throws him in. Adam Page calling for something here. Elbow to the back of Nick Mondo. Here we go. Brain Buster there. Takes down the world champion. Gets him down. Throws him in. Oh my god. Spinning kick. Nick Mondo is here to fight. He wants to play away the world champion. In hopes of a future opportunity one day. Nick Mondo had his chance at the junior heavyweight title. Oh my god. Rites of passage. One, two, three. Oh, Nick Mondo kicks out of the rites of passage. Pinfall here. One, two. No, oh, kick out again. The resiliency of Nick Mondo is amazing. Nice falling lariat there. One, two, three. Adam Page defeats Nick Mondo in our opening match. But I know he is pissed after this match. My goodness. Look at the blood everywhere. Look at it. Wow. Exciting way to start a show off, guys. Let's move on. Adam Page. Definitely going to need some stitches after that. He has to defend his world championship on our next show, which is our special. Going to be exciting there. But I bet Nick Mondo is going to pay for that even after that win from Adam Page, no matter what. But Adam Page conf continues his um, winning streak now. Here we go with our main event. Out of the defense... Of Tessa Blanchard high stakes one last time Michael Elgin has a problem with management he feels like he's not booked properly he feels like he's not treated with as much respect as he deserves Michael Elgin believes he deserves a pay raise you've seen it we've seen it he has not won every match here in LEW as popular as he is it doesn't matter so here's his last chance to get a world championship match out of this now Ricochet fighting for Tessa Blanchard, our junior heavyweight champion, Ricochet fighting for his ex-girlfriend Tessa Blanchard to get a world championship match. If he wins, Tessa gets a match. If he doesn't win, Michael Elgin gets a world championship match. Big stakes, ring the bell. Here we go, guys. Main event time. Off the bat, Ricochet has partial advantage there. Michael Elgin has picked up a couple of wins here in LDW out of his losing streaks. He defeated Jeff Bryan last week. As we know, Jeff Bryan put on a classic match with Ricochet before. Oh, knocks down Ricochet there, just using his weight to his advantage there. Size of Elgin's amazing hip toss there from Ricochet. Ricochet and Elgin have went at it before, and Ricochet picked up the win over Elgin. So now it's all about the defending Tessa in this match. We all know how hard that woman has worked here in LDW. She deserves a world championship based on her work ethic. If Ricochet can win it for her tonight, that would be a big moment for her career. 
Oh, spin back there. Everybody in LDW has had a world championship or junior heavyweight championship match. Everybody here has had a championship opportunity except for Tessa Blanchard. So this is finally her chance to get that here and, and, and try to walk into that championship match at Lions Roar and win the world title. At least just get have a chance, you know? Speaking back kick, Michael Elgin has had literally two championship opportunities. The first episode, he lost the match. He could have had his chance to be the first world champion, but lost. Then, as Tesla was on a streak of winning, he just randomly gets his own number one contenders match. I, he demands a number one contendership. This is where I reveal it. He demanded a number one contenders match, and he didn't deserve it. He knows it. Based on his popularity, he got it. And defeated Tesla Blanchard in that match. And then faced off against the world champion and lost. So, it's not fair to someone like Tessa Blanchard, who has won many matches, put on classics, like, like, like the sellout matches, you know. And, like, this guy doesn't... He puts on good matches, but he's not... He just he doesn't deserve it, in my opinion. I've had my serious bias, and I tried to show him respect once he defeated Tessa. I tried to act like I cared. This guy is, is the... He's not even just a heel. He's just an overall asshole. He doesn't deserve anything at all. If all one, two, oh. You know, a big guy like him, he just thinks that he deserves everything. Because of his size and his look but you see he pay, he loses matches so how's he gonna sit here and demand anything pinfall one two oh i thought that was it and then ricochet he demanded as you, and he wanted to pay a raise recently and he deserved it we all know he deserved it he worked so hard and he is our junior heavyweight champion walking into this match my goodness the variety of germans one two is this it oh my good Oh my god, guys. Press slam. We're seeing a different side of Michael Elgin. Because he is so upset with how he, he feels like he's been treated in LDW. Feels like he, they don't we don't deserve him here or something. And that's and then he's, he's in the ring with somebody that got the raise that he deserved. Deserves as much credibility as possible. And now here he is facing off against the guy he's jealous of. Because he, I mean, look. We are a balanced company. Tessa is the only female here in LDW, and she's a fantastic wrestler. Her gender means nothing. We want to see her as a world champion. That's why we don't have a bunch of women, and we want to have a women's title or anything like that. You know, we want to have a diverse company, and it doesn't matter where, what religion, uh, culture, whatever. Oh my god, burning hammer there to ricochet Pinfall here. Ricochet. One. Two. Is that it? Oh, kick out from Ricochet. We gotta see. It doesn't matter what, where you're from or anything like that. Pinfall. One. Two. Is that it? Kick out from Ricochet. It doesn't matter what what race you are, culture, religion, where, where you, their income. No one cares about that here in LDW. We are a diverse and equal company here. And for Michael Elgin to feel like he deserves something here, and he doesn't show any serious work ethic, doesn't show any serious credibility of why he should even be given a world championship match just because of his popularity, that's not fair to the ones that bust their asses here in LDW. And he's in the ring with somebody that busts their ass in LDW, and that's why he's been given, and given, he's earned everything here. He's had wins and losses, and they all balance out. Oh my goodness, and he just, he actually just successfully defended his belt our last show. Now here he is defending the pride of Tessa Blanchard for that world championship match. Oh my goodness, takes down Michael, and Michael Elgin gets back up. Elbows, spinning back, spinning elbow there, takes down Ricochet. One thing with Ricochet, even after that championship match and how hard that man works in that ring, this is a big match not even for him because he's had his world championship opportunity you know Michael Elgin is exhausted and the thing is my and 
thing is a lion's roar. One, two, is this it? Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Wow. No. 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 No, man. No. No. Just no. No. Michael Elgin defeats Ricochet in our main event. And now has a world championship match. Wow. Just wow. That's all I can say is wow. Wow. Devastating. Okay. That's the phone call in the background. <laughs> that just that just threw me off, guys. Man. Damn. <sighs> All right. Overall, good turnout for the ratings and the attendance and everything. Moving on. Um, devastating. I can't believe Ricochet. I'm not even mad at Ricochet. Michael Elgin, he has a new attitude. As you can see, um, he won the normal contenders match, lost the championship match that he had handed to him and everything and then there's where he um he had his um what, what, what am I trying to say I'm just I'm so I'm upset after that his only wins here he defeated Jeff Bryan sure that, that was whatever no one cared and now he defeats Ricochet in this big opportunity I, I'm I'm pissed guys I'm really pissed like, he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't freaking deserve it, man. He doesn't freaking deserve it. He just doesn't deserve it, man. That just made me so upset. It's whatever, man. It's whatever. Now I just... I'm in Adam Page's corner. I don't care about... Don't use that bias word on me, you know. I'm really upset about that. He doesn't deserve it. Like... Just, I just, I'm sorry. He just doesn't deserve it. He's not getting a pay raise unless he can beat the world champion. That's it. So now, here's the exclusive area of everything. Oh, was not able to find anyone worth signing? Well, there's always next time. What? Come on, Pentagon. Don't be like that. Why is everybody being like this? Because they saw Ricochet got the pay raise. I'm giving everyone a pay raise except for Michael Elgin. Okay. That's fine. Everybody else can get one, but he doesn't get it. He's great. Give him a raise. He deserves it. That's no problem. I'm I'm so pissed over here, guys. I can't. I just can't. I just I'm so mad. I'm so freaking upset right now. Like, wow. Like, wow, man. I can't believe. I I no, I'm not. I'm not even paying attention. Like, if they're happy with their raises, you know, they all deserve it. But Tesla has worked so hard throughout this whole season. It, it breaks my heart, you know, to see that, to see this happen, you know. That was her last chance. But, hey, it's whatever. She can get her championship match in the future. Anything can happen, guys. Maybe on our next season, something great can happen for her. And that's that. So this is the exclusive. You get to see me build up for our event. I'm gonna um, not offering a contract to anybody. Um, train the expedition. He's in normal condition. He's in good conditioning. Normal, normal, good, good, good. Um, so on this show, for our 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 um show, we're gonna have Michael Elgin versus Adam Page. 
literally Michael Elgin's third chance at the world championship. If he doesn't win, I'm going to be mad as hell. Because he doesn't even deserve it. It's whatever. He doesn't deserve it. Whatever. But it's a big draw for the main event. You know, big draw for both of them. And the main event and everything. Um... With Ricochet, he's going to defend his belt against, um, I think he should defend it against Will Ospreay, to be honest. Like, we should have Will Ospreay come through and everything. And then for the final time, through their rivalry, because you saw what happened with the rivalry. Nick Mondo and Jeff Bryan, they need to finish what they started on good terms, you know. They need to finish it. I feel like they need a final thing between the two of them. Same with Pentagon Jr. and Tessa Blanchard. They should go at it for one last time. Just out of respect for both of them. So, there's that. So, yeah. It would just be the, the, the great ending to everything for our show. I'll be surprised if Will Osprey doesn't show up. That I don't really want to think like that. I'd rather be more optimistic. So, let's see if Will Osprey will even show up. Awesome. He's showing up. Okay. Good news, at least. I, I'm still... I, guys, I'm so pissed. <laughs> like, I'm so mad. You, you understand? I'm so freaking mad that that happened. She deserves it. And it's not... It's not fair. It's so unfair. It's so unfair for her. You know? But it'll be... It'll be her thing. Her opportunity to... Face off against... Pentagon Jr. to end their rivalry it's evened you know Pentagon has one over her she has one over him it'll be their tiebreaker you know um same not even tiebreaker with Pen with um Sick Nick Mondo and Jeff Bryan Jeff Bryan and Sick Nick Mondo those two they could have um a historic and they, they, they just put on a good match you know to cap off their rivalry you saw they ended in a draw uh, Jeff Bryan defeated Sick Nick Mondo in there in his debut match, so there's that. Um, to build up to the show, let's see, records and help. Don't need to look at this, I don't even care to. Uh, don't need to look at this either. Um, one thing, we're going all in. We're gonna, we're, we're going all in. We're gonna buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, produce merchandise we're gonna produce some merchandise oh crap we are low on this stuff now nah, we gotta have full everything everything needs to be full everything needs to be full guys towel I'm paying for it we're doing it guys we're going all in with this event we're going completely in we're not gonna joke around you know it's our biggest event I'm ready for it guys um yeah I'm not playing around this is this is it this is it and that's that's it from there even the freaking brand is like I don't even care at this point you know like just everything sell all this stuff in our first show um look at we're, we're already over completely over budget oh, we're 36,000 like we're freaking thirty six thousand more than what we have. So forty six think about that. We're gonna be at seventy thousand bucks after that. You know. So it's whatever with that. You know what? What should happen with Michael Elgin? Here's the thing, at my in my from my standpoint. Michael Elgin, if he doesn't win that world championship match, he will be fired. He will be fired immediately. I'm sick of Michael Elgin completely. I don't care if he's a big draw. We don't need him here. He will be fired immediately. He loses, he's fired. He wins, he's world champion. And he'll get a pay raise and everything that he wants. So, that's the stakes for him. Because I'm sick of him. I'm sick of that guy. I'm so sick of Michael Elgin. So, there's that. Invite. We have the invitation done. This is book the. I mean, yeah, this is book the event now. This is our first special. It's gonna be. It's not gonna broadcast live. It's gonna be recorded. I'm actually gonna have a guest on the show. 
to um, do guest com to have two commentators, you know, it will just be me. Um, they'll be surprised, you know, I'm not going to say now who it's going to be. So, is that. I can't do it 30 dollars. I can do 20 bucks. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to make a big, we need to make big money from this. Okay. You already spending that much money. Um, nah, no, don't do that. Just keep that social media. We don't want to go all out, you know. So to start us off, we'll have Sicknick Mondo. He'll be in his yellow attire against um, Jeff Bryan. Then we'll have Tessa Blanchard. It's a Blanchard versus Pentagon Jr. To end their rivalry, finally. You know, so there's that. Um, then we'll have a championship match. It's going to be Will Ospreay versus Ricochet. And then our main event of the evening, we're going to have Michael Elgin against Adam Page. Come full circle, except it's not a hardcore match. And that's that. It'll be a fantastic show we're going to have. Like, we're going to make a big load of money we're gonna have a lot of praise after this event I can feel it guys um, anything with the match rules um, mm, off want to add to this not really you know 45 minutes is enough for them mm, yeah pretty simple um with them they can get 45 minutes as well dq count is on mm, entrance individual spinning panther as usual that's good. Um, they get 60 minutes, but there'll be two out of three falls for that belt. Um, that's that for them. I can't think of anything else for them. Yeah, nothing else. 60 minute time limit would be perfect. Honestly, last time it didn't go very well with the two out of three falls thing, so I kind of don't want to do that. When it comes to our ratings, I, we need to make good ratings off to, after this whole thing. So, there's that. Uh, unlimited amount of time. Fight it out. Go all out in this match. Make me proud. Make me proud. That's all I have to say. Mm, 60 minutes. Match is won. We're good there, we're good there, we're good everywhere. That's cool. Just planning ahead of time. This has been the exclusive with everything planning. Paul Turner is a great referee. I love to have him again and again. Um, looks like we're good, guys. You know, we, we've had a lot of storylines. We've seen the people build up through our show. This should be a great show. Okay, confirm the match card. If we were to, they keep saying go to a bigger venue. What if I did that? Wow, we'd still be at full house. That's crazy, but the expenses though, you know, that's that's too much for me. We're at 
We're gonna be broke after this if we don't make a good amount. Yeah, we're a full house, but we don't. I ain't got it like that, you know? <laughs> Attitudes, we don't have it like that. You know? How about rural and venue size small hall? How about that? Still full house. Still a full, well, not a full house. We'll go to the small hall because it'll be the bigger thing. Okay. American rural, but small hall. Twenty-three thousand four hundred plus the forty. I think forty-seven thousand, maybe forty-six thousand plus some change in there. So that'll be about seventy thousand bucks minus the hundred sixteen thousand we have. We won't be broke. <laughs> we don't make enough money from this thing. But it's a full house. That's great. Um, great matches. Great stuff here. It's going to be a killer show. I can guarantee you that. Everybody's in good condition and normal condition. They all got pay raises except for Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin wins. He'll be. He gets the pay raise and he stays. If he loses, however, he will be fired. I'm saying now he'll be fired. No question about it. And that's that. So confirm the match card. We're good to go, guys. Okay. It's gonna be a recording, so it'll be posted. Um, not seventy thousand. So, um, it's gonna be recorded, and it'll be like a one-hour show or whatever. And it'll be recorded. We'll be re me and my guest commentator will be ready, and we'll be good to go for the whole show. No question about it. Um, it's completely whatever, you know, we'll be good to go, we'll be good to go, um, here we go, we'll be ready guys, it'll be posted very soon, um, if you've made it to this point with us in LDW, I appreciate everything, I appreciate your view, I appreciate if you've been engaged, Thank you for making it this far in the season. If you, or if you just made it to the season, if you just make it to this episode, be ready for the next one that's posted. And please follow the playlist. Watch the whole season. You will not be upset with anything. You'll see how I personally, as I played far performer, this is my first time doing it. You'll see how I grew as a beginner to a better player for this. Um, either way, I appreciate y'all. Um, let me save my work before I leave, because I will forget, knowing me. Make sure it's fully saved. It's 11.55 at night right now. Alright, we're good. So, I appreciate you guys. Catch you um, for our special. Lions, be ready for Lions Roar.